Listen, can you hear the sound? The percussion on the wind. It is the sound of our war drums beating through the world. A sound that all our enemies hear and fear. That remains ringing in their ears as they discuss our coming. Our great armies are victorious in the south and in Anatolia. And it won't be long before Antiochus is scaling the walls of Alexandria. But to do this, he must first take Judea and the ancient stronghold of Jerusalem, a city for the ages. But before you do this, my son, there is something I must affirm. You are now the regent of these lands and heir apparent to my throne. You have proven yourself worthy by conquest, something your brothers have not. I admit, this brings shame to your elder Seleucos, and you must be careful with him, for an effective administrator he is. But Seleucia, in this time of peril, does not need a man to manage. She needs a man to rule, a conqueror and a warlord, and that is you, Antiochus. But there are many burdens that I must share with you, if you are to succeed. Our economy is stronger than it once was, but our taxes remain oppressive. And someday soon, they must be lowered, lest the Persians seek themselves a new king. Cappadocia stands strong still, and has defeated our armies. And for every year that passes whilst they remain independent, is a year in which our enemies grow in confidence. They must be stamped out, their example expunged, and once again our enemies will think twice before attacking, and the Ptolemies remain our greatest problem. But I have faith in you, son, the great general you are. I see now that those dogs will not be silenced in my life, but I pray they will be gone by the time you come to rest. So, son, take with you my blessings and my burdens. You will love me and hate me for them. I know this. But I also know you are strong enough to carry them with pride. And when the time comes, I know your rule will be glorious. Hi guys, welcome back to another Seleucid episode in our RTR Imperium Serectum campaign in version 0.5 and uh, it's been going pretty well and uh, there's a couple of things I want to do to start with. Now the first thing is we heard it mentioned in the intro to episode 4 that if Antiochus, Antiochus' son Antiochus, uh, takes Judea he will be rewarded and he is not quite taken all of Judea quite yet. Uh, we still have Iope over here, uh, and maybe another couple of settlements, but I believe his service has been good enough and you will be named as our faction heir, my son. Um, of course, that's going to make Seleucos a little bit upset, but Seleucos isn't the best, <laughs> the best heir that we can have. On top of that, this makes his general's bodyguard a lot larger. It should, uh, yeah, it should go up to 25 rather than just the standard, uh, I think he was on 19 before. We've also got all these retinue, so he should get a lot larger retinue as well, and of course a larger retinue when he becomes leader. Now last episode we took a few cities, we are marching south again, beat back the beat back the Ptolemies down here in another field battle which was fantastic, and then in Anatolia... We are just beating them back constantly. Uh, but I think from watching Terminator's campaign as Egypt, the Egyptians actually have quite a few settlements down here, guys. <laughs> quite a few. I, I don't think it's just like one, two, or three. I think there's about five mixed up in there and along this sort of edge here. I think there's quite a few. So for now, we're just going to keep on attacking them. Keep on trying to destroy them, destroy their, take their cities. Hopefully we can drive them from Anatolia. And when we do, the next thing we're going to do is take these islands. And hopefully take roads as well at some point. That would be excellent. Um, but yeah, we've got to take these islands off them as well. Pergamon is trying to take Mytilene, which would be fantastic. I'd quite like them to do that. Um, as well as elsewhere. So building priorities, of course, are going to remain public order, guys. Now we're up to 11,000. 
and I would like to start putting a lot of these places back onto low tax rates so they start growing. But for now, we need to just focus on building economic buildings. But the first thing I'm going to do before we start building mines and more farms, I'm going to try and build roads in all these places that don't have them. Because that's going to connect our lands a lot better. You can see a lot of these places don't have any roads. Even down here, look, this doesn't have a road. This doesn't have a road. This one here doesn't have a road. So in order to connect all our places up, get them some more trade, I think that's going to be a big boon to our economy. Not just now, but in the long term as well. And of course, makes it a lot easier for us to move around. So uh, we'll do that as well. Fantastic. So without further ado, I believe we're at the end of a turn. Now... This Parthia question is begging still. I don't know what to do about it. It would be very nice to just march in there and kill them all. Uh, but for now, I'm going to get him away from the zone of control. Oh, no. Ah, I didn't mean to press back there. But anyway, we could buy some mercenaries, but they're so expensive. Ridiculously expensive, really, to kill Nisa. Um... But that's the problem. I don't know whether they have another settlement. And if they do, what are they going to do? Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's a tough one. We will see anyway. We do have a settlement all the way up here. Which is kind of crazy, really. Such a long way north. Yeah. This eastern edge is just a nightmare to control, really, I'd say. But anyway, guys, let us end the turn and see what happens. I'm going to come down here. But no doubt there'll be someone moving. Yeah, there was. Okay, Achaean League. Would you like some trade the rights? Yeah, of course. Proposal. Map information. For maybe like 2,000? Yeah, I'd say 2,000 would be balance. The most generous okay. Proposal. Some more money. So we have the Achaean League, and then we need to go talk to uh, our old friends, the Spartans, eh? Sparta! Yes. Glorious Sparta. Um, I hope you enjoyed the Sparta campaign, everyone, by the way, as well. Uh, that has just finished. Just finished. Uh, probably a week or two ago. So I hope you enjoyed that while uh, while it lasted. Uh, and we did create a very large empire. Um, another candidate for adoption. He's brave, been in wards, a good commander, and he's a named commander. And he's good looking, and he's Greek. Uh, that sounds absolutely perfect, my friend. Uh, now, where are you? I wish there was just a button here. So that's its character trait. I wish... Yeah, go there. There we are. There's the button. <laughs> we have a bit of uh, civil disorder. That's fine. Another ceasefire. They just can't seem to break Mytilene. Which is a bit upsetting. Uh, so Areatheus. Do do else do we have in here? We've got Achilos. Achilos will be good when Antiochus dies. Antiochus? Antiochus? I don't know how to say it perfectly, but... Uh, someone let me know how to say Antiochus, Antiochus in the ancient Greek way. Because I would just say, normally just say like Antio An Antiochus. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. How do you say it in the ancient Greek way? Um, so, Areatheus, I'm going to send you to this army. Reason being, Antiochus is going to die soon. So, I would like him to be the second general in that army. So let's have a look at the civil disorder. We have Akrabai. You just need to go on a better tax rate. I'm assuming a lot of these places. And Pacinius. I think that's going to be enough to take it over the edge, you know. Oh, we could have done recruitment, but... <laughs> oh, well. Now, construction reports. Oh, Babylon got the governor's palace. That's excellent. That is 100% something that we want. Babylon is Greek now as well. Fantastic. And then we built some roads and all that sort of thing. Well, with the rest of our money, we are going to start building the roads. And we're going to start by being uh, proximity-wise again to Seleucia. Because we're going to lose less money due to corruption and all that sort of thing. So I think the first one we build is over here. Then we'll get these ones in. And then we can build those inland trade centers. They're a really good building as well. Okay, you needed to repair that as well. Let's build the road. And they only take one turn, so they're an instant um, an instant upgrade. Um, why does that map go down? 
So yeah, let's build the roads all around this area. Uh, I believe. And then I think these two would be a good one as well because if we ever need to get troops here between Ekbatana and up, up to here, we really do need the roads. Otherwise, we'll be much too slow. Same, same reasoning there. We've probably got one more road we can build. Um, and I'd probably choose one of these ones down here. Or this one, potentially. Be a good one. And then somewhere else, let's build the farming. So if we do have farming available in any of these settlements, that would be fantastic. No, doesn't look like it. Uh, let's build the Shrine to Hera then, over here, and then maybe somewhere else to reduce our corruption. Um, oh, yes, we're building some, uh, Zistaphoroi over here. Well, while we're doing that, let's go the Shrine to Hephaestus. Oh, no, we're already building a, a barracks. Hmm. You need to get in there. We are going to move you out, Theodotus. I know you're quite old. I really don't know where that army keeps going. They keep moving an army around, and it never comes towards us. Only two guys in Panassus. I think it's worth it. I mean, Panassus is a, not the breast of settlements, though, is it? Let's do that. Tiana is happy. Good. Over here, we could do with a little bit of happiness, but we're, gonna, we're okay for now. Um, yeah, I think we leave that 500 there, just in the bank, ready to build some more roads next turn. You guys need to get into there, Nidos. Cool. I'm pretty happy with how we're going so far. Tell Messos, or we've got two battles to do, haven't we? I wish you would, like, next door. We'll do this one first. They have some Chlorochoi pikemen. They've also got some Agama. God damn, bro. I hope they don't leave that Agama on the uh, on the town square. That's going to be really annoying. Ah, Basilicon Agama. We're going to have to use... We'll use our missile troops as much as we can to try and kill them. So, without further ado, guys, let's get on to the battlefield, and I will see you there. Here we are, guys. Victory is near at hand. If all do their duty, it will be out. Yes, fantastic. I've also had a little play around with the audio, guys, so uh, do let me know whether it's uh, working right or not. Oh, this is a fantastic one. Where is the tower over here? There is no tower. Ah, very good. Right, you guys go for the main gate, and we'll send the slingers over here. We'll use Theropoi, are obviously going to be there to fire your javis. Greek hoplites are going to be quite useful. Uh, Prodromoi could be useful. Uh, you need to get with these guys. They've got a little bit of experience now, which is good. But I found in the remaster, experience is pretty hard to come by. It's pretty scarce. It's pretty hard to come by, honestly. Uh, Matroi Foroi. Yeah, I really just don't want to fight that, that Agama on the town square. Look at these guys. I'm not sure we've seen them yet. But look how good they look. Oh, they just look fantastic. You can tell they're elite, can't you? Look at their stats as well. 45 defense, 20 morale, 15 melee attack, 30 defense skill. They're going to be a tough nut to crack. So we're going to have to use all our jabbies pretty much on these. The uh, pikemen are going to be annoying, but we can kind of... If we surround them, I'm sure they'll break and we can... Uh, Destroy them. The Matri Foroi are also a really good unit. Like we've seen early game. They're pretty much kind of like our Theroporoi. Just slightly worse than our Theroporoi. So a decent unit. Um, but yeah, we've got plenty. Uh, we just need to use our Greek Sling as well, I think, in this. We can also bring our uh, armies forward. Because there's no uh, towers over this way. <laughs> Go that way. Chile, do you know what? We're going to keep you off fire at will for now. 
And uh, Antiochus will bring you forward. Antiochus, Antiochus, I don't know. Get you. If we can get you here, you might actually be able to fire over those walls. Uh, and that would be a good use of you guys for a siege battle, because otherwise you're not really going to get used, are you? That's a good place for the AI. AI, you're doing well. That's a good place to put troops like that. I'm happy for you. Hmm, this is the place we want to put our Greek slingers. Our soldiers have done their work well. The battering ram has broken through Did they the fight? Gates. Oh, they fired a few times. Nice. Killed a few of them. Very good. If you guys could fire once, that would be fantastic. Just once. And then we kind of want to use the rest of you on the Agamet. Fire away, boys. They have no cavalry, so they're not really going to uh, have a uh, have a quick response to however we get through the walls. They're going that way. Interesting. We'll get Antiochus over here. Go. This uh, unit can get surrounded. Fantastic. The walls are broken. Our troops now I'm sending you two forward. this way. Greek slingers. We'll probably not use you. If we can get you there, that would be awesome. And we'll get the Theroperoi this side. Uh, Greek slingers, you can also come into here. I'll take you off fire at will for now. It's a bit of a mess right now. I don't know what's happening with the with them moving. Their movement is a little bit suspect. <laughs> there. They're all retreating. I don't like that. Why? Fight me, bro. <laughs> Fight me. Get there. Get the slingers this way as well. Go there. You guys go here. Oh, why? Where are they going? Are they coming to, to meet us this side? Interesting. But the Matroi 4 I aren't. Oh, everyone on the town square. Really? Really? Oh, god damn it, bro. How annoying. <laughs> and then the uh, Theroperoi. Get you in there. Right, you guys. Let's come forward. You get there. We also have Antiochus and more Greek Hoplites this side. Uh, ready to charge in if, if necessary. The whole idea is to trap them there, really. Uh, we should also get you guys forward. Go there. Fantastic. Let's speed this up. It's going a little bit slowly right now, isn't it? Now the slingers should be on fire at will. And I'm hoping you can fire without hitting too many of our men. If not, we'll move you forward, actually. Now fire in. I can't fight them all on the town square. We'd just lose so many men if that was the case. We'd actually lose. If they're going to do this, please don't do it. Okay, we've got to engage these guys. Fire at them. God, this is not working. How good is your throw, bro? Let's see whether we can throw. Not quite. Let's get there. Speed this up. Should be able to fire now. Come on. Fire those jabbies, boys. 
Now they'll charge. That's it. That's what we want. Want at least two off the map. Okay, they're still firing at the uh, Agamut. That's great. Okay, good firing, boys. It's doing a lot of damage. Phalanx down. Okay. Clearly our Q. <laughs> then I want you guys here. While you two can get that way. God damn, how are you... Why are you staying on there, for God's sake? Oh, my God, bro. Uh, Antiochus will get you. If you just come down here, that will be fine. This is the problem now. They're all going to be on the town square. We'll probably break those guys, which is great. We'll need to fire at the Agamemnon. We get there. How are you not in a phalanx formation anymore, bro? You're fighting a phalanx. You, I'm hoping you can fire into the Agamemnon. This is a nightmare. Hellish! Come on, fire away, boys. I don't think you're going to do a huge amount of damage, honestly. You should not be fighting, bro. Fire your jabbies, for God's sake. Hmm. Well then, we'll uh, we'll get there and we'll crush them. It'll be okay. I don't think we're going to lose too many men. Too many men. Too. We've got Zistaphoroi coming as well, so that's going to be a huge boon, as well as some Greek hoplites. We're going to take some quite a, a lot more damage than I wanted because they're on this goddamn town square and they refused to come off it. God be the enemy is now he's running. Makes a home in our now, while we're here, let's get you out. Move, move. This guy, this guy just won't get out of the fight. Just fucking calm down, bro. And he's not. There's no point firing now because. I'm going to do too much friendly fire, so you might as well come in. We've got these, all of these guys surrounded. So we should be doing a lot of damage. And how many have we lost? So we lost 20%. It's too much. It's too much. Oh, god damn it, bro. This Agama is just going to take forever to die. They're very tired now. Which is surprising. I'm surprised they're very tired. Everyone's just taking ages. Get them. Yeah, we crushed them into the corner now, which is quite good. Oh, they've taken they've taken they have taken a bit of a beating there, but we've lost more troops than I would have liked. Would you kill this guy, please? There we are. Fantastic. I mean, we killed pretty much double what they killed. Near 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 enough double. But it it's just too much damage. Too much damage. And the Chalka speedo has got the healing, which is great because they're such a good unit for siege battles. So, pretty happy. But, uh, I mean, it's okay. It's not amazing, but it's okay. Anyway, guys, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. And, of course, Philadelphia. We will enslave again. Um, and they've got their army on the way. Which is fine. Um, and I, yeah. The one problem I kind of have right now is I don't really know where their lands are. Now, this is one thing I was going to do, guys. Is ask you guys about the Toggle Fog of War. So, during these campaigns, I like to Toggle Fog of War every now and then. Just to see. Wait, that's a rebel settlement. I don't, yeah, I don't think we've ever had that settlement. So, that's okay. Definitely rebel. I think. I think that's a rebel colour, but I, I'm not sure. I like to toggle fog of war every now and then, guys, just to see what is uh, what is going on in the world. Um, but 
I don't want to use it to cheat. Like, I don't want it... I would like it to be able to see where where these settlements are. I mean, I can see one settlement here, Petra. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to be able to see that they've got, like, five full stacks coming or something like that. I mean, I hope it wouldn't be five full stacks, but I guess we'd see. Um... But yeah, I wanted to be able to see what the AI is doing. Just to show you guys, oh, this uh, this AI faction's winning. The boy are beating the Romans or whatever. So just let me know what you guys think of that. Maybe we can toggle Fog of War without looking at our neighbors. That would be quite good. Or potentially having a rule that we can't look at anyone that we are currently at war with. Or at least try not to. Um, I think that would be the, the best rule, really. Uh, down here, let's talk to Areitos, Mr. Potatoes. Now, I want to talk to Areus, if Areus is about. Areus, yay! What a boy. What a boy. How are you feeling, Areus? Most generous ah, proposal. I knew you'd accept, my friend. I knew you would accept. Glorious, man. A most generous ah, and you accept proposal. that as well. Oh, what a glorious boy -o. Wait, did we talk to... Uh, Athens, we did. Yeah, Achaeans. We need to go up and talk to Epirus then. Let's go. Now, we've got 2,000 extra to spend. So, I think these places need the roads next. Uh, no, actually, we need them in Phoenicia. Uh, we'll go for the roads. Um, hmm. I think it's worth waiting for the roads to, to build that. Uh, so what we're going to do here, of course we need our spare boy -o from Damascus, if we can. You guys are going back for retraining, I remember that. It's going to take you ages. Kind of need you with a general, honestly, even if you're going back for retraining. So I quite like a general down here. And we'll have pretty strong army when we get back. Won't we? We'll have a pretty strong army. We need a recruitment hub further south now, then. Um, cost 5,000, though. 5,000, boys. I'd like one that's a city. We don't really have cities down here. Sidon's a minor city, but it's too far north right now. How about you? You're a large town. I'm sure there's some cities in there that we'd be able to use. But anyway, guys, uh, we've got this battle to do. I, I don't want to do back-to-back -back siege battles all the time, guys. So what I am going to do, I will um, I will auto-resolve a, a lot of these sieges. Just so we're not doing sieges all the time. And what I'm going to do is move these guys around. Because generally, if you don't know... I don't know whether it's with Remaster, but definitely in Vanilla um, Original, it did um, auto-resolve uh, deaths by how close you are to the start. And it's ah, it's done that again. No, I want these guys to take the damage. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, they only killed 66. I'm, I'm happy to take that. And let's enslave. It's a large town. I mean, we're not really losing that many men from that. That's... That's fantastic. As long as we don't lose elephants. And Patara is right there. Oh, awesome. Uh, get you on low. Can we come straight out? That would be ideal. Well, we can if I just leave with one troop. Not quite. Not quite. It's got a blacksmith over here as well. Uh, th yeah, we need to destroy that. Uh, repair those. This one needs roads. Uh, well, you're coming this way, aren't you? It's really... It's a bit... Hmm, it's a bit awkward over here now in terms of getting our... Because we were recruiting... Akontisti over here, weren't we? Or Peltas, or was it here? Yeah, we've got these three. I think we need to send them all forward. Next turn, you can join with the general. He's got a runner. I'm happy for them to revolt for one turn. I don't think the Ptolemies will uh, will take that in 
one turn. I don't think they'll be clever enough to take that. I think they'd be more focused on this army. Now, this is a large town as well. So I knew they had a load of settlements down here. I just don't know where they are. <laughs> but anyway, guys, let us end the turn. The first end turn of today, actually. Interesting. Let's see what happens. Yeah, the Ptolemies are just... They just love to blockade us, don't they? I mean, okay. Well, then. I guess we're not fighting that one, guys. Wait, did they just leave Nisa unprotected? Bro, where did our guy go? Where did he go? Also, did they just leave Nisa unprotected? Okay, there's the army for Cappadocia. Oh, God, I don't think we win that, guys. Not with the horse archers. I'm going to retreat once. And they're going to come for us, aren't they? I'm hoping we get a hill. But <laughs> our hopes for a hill are never, never realized, unfortunately. Oh, God, this is going to be really tough. That Cappadocian cavalry is pretty good. Just horse archers in general and skirmish cav when you don't have cav are pretty much impossible to take on unless the AI does something stupid like march them in or charge them in, which I'm hoping they do. I mean, that's the only way we're going to win this. So I'll see you on the uh, battle map, guys. Here we are. We kind of got some hills. We're kind of in a bit of a valley. But we can obviously... Like, this is the best place to be right now. Or that one. I think this one is the best, though. All of our guys can fire javis. Which is just excellent. I'm hoping he sends his cavalry forward. Can you hide in the trees? I don't think you can because you're a general, but... Oh, well. There they are. March up the hill, boys. And enjoy it. Enjoy it. We'll have really good range with our Javis as well. And let's speed it up. Finally, we get a hill, guys. It's been a while. <laughs> Including two campaigns. It's been an absolute age since we got an actual hill. Um, but, yeah, I... I... I just don't see how we can win this. Unless the AI does just something really dumb with the cavalry, there's no way. Like, if we were, if we had this army, we would obliterate us right now. Like, genuinely obliterate us into smithereens. Like, destroy this army so easily. Um, so, let's see what the AI does. I mean, it's being dumb to start with, which is pretty good. Because quite like to get rid of all this cavalry. More, more, ideally the Cappadocian cavalry. Put you on guard mode as well. You could fire at the Cappadocians as well. That would be excellent. For your final. Surely they're on skirmisher mode. Yeah, kill the Cappadocians. Right, now you guys halt. Okay, they're going for the charge. Fantastic. Fantastic news. I think we go for the counter charge. Greek Peltas have pretty much used all their ammo as well. I honestly don't even want to destroy this whole army. I kind of just want to rout it. This is a bloody, bloody brutal battle. Remember, even if we kill these, uh, this horse archer, which is the, probably their best unit apart from their general... Skirmish and Cav are going to be hard to kill. I don't think they'll come back with just three men. So let's leave them for now. I keep... Uh, I'm, I'm happy to keep these guys in front, you know. And just take tank the damage. Uh, that Skirmish Cav... What are you doing? Leave me alone, bro. I'm, I'm happy for these guys to take a bit of damage. That Skirmish Cav won't have that many missiles left, surely. Been throwing missiles for ages. Right, these guys should be able to fire missiles now, surely. Let's get there. Okay, do they go for the charge now? They're still firing. Which is a bit disappointing. Come on, fire your javies, guys! What are you doing? Fire! War cry, anyway. Okay, they just ran straight through. <laughs> 
Yeah, it doesn't look like they can fire Javis anymore. Which is good for us. I think we will break them if we uh, if we charge them once. They're still on skirmisher mo skirmish mode. Looks like they're trying to do a thingy circle. Whatever it's called. I'll rally the boys. Try not to get Theodotus killed would be ideal, wouldn't it? Fire at the Asian Royal Bodyguards. Now you guys through. If you fire, can you like fire your jabbies at them or something or, or what? You guys get them. Get you off guard mode. Fire your goddamn jabbies at them, bro. What are you doing? Get in there. Guys, guys, where are you going? Oh, oh well, oh well. That well, kind of worked. But uh, what we're going to do, let's uh, get into the back of those. We're going to have to just keep charging. This is going to be a bloody battle. Now out. We're going to have to charge this. If we can kill his general, that is pretty much our only real salvation here, even now. Get them, which it's going to be hard to do. If we can charge them in the side, that would be lovely. That's a good charge, hopefully. Didn't, they didn't really kill anyone, did they? Our cavalry's pretty much useless now. There's not much we can do about that. I think we just need to stay near our men rather than charging. Oh, God damn. Kill this general and then they will all die. I want you all to kill that general. You guys fight them. Fight them, fight them. There's only 13 of them left. Let's speed it up. Yeah, I think that's us done, you know. We got rid of their most dangerous troops. But all their uh, trash troops... Not quite yet. Let's uh, war cry again. Might be the one, you know. Come on. Where is his general going? Brother! can't retreat either, so I've got to try and get my general to survive. Let's rally these boys. Yeah, rally them. If you can fire your jabbies and kill that general, that would be ideal, bro. Just kill him. You guys just fight these guys for now. Where is he? Which one is he? It's that one. Come on, fire the Javis, boys. Come on. Yeah, get them. Kill him. Kill him. Get him. Get that fool. That fool of a took. If we could charge him once, maybe kill him in this charge. Come on. Kill him in the charge. We killed three of them, just not him. Okay, and and uh, sorry, what is his name? Theodotus is kind of okay right now. He's kind of at the back. There he is. Is he? Come on, kill him! Yes, right now, get out, 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 before you die. Are they shaken? They are. Fantastic. He's got one guy chasing us. I, I don't really know why. I think I think the power of the three-man charge is not quite enough to get these guys all to route, to, to be honest. <laughs> I've got them both to route. Really? <laughs> the three-man charge, boys. The three-man charge. Right, get get through them. Just, just go. Just kill as many as you can right now. That's all I ask. Oh, they're faster than my cavalry. <laughs> Those goddamn slingers are faster than my cavalry, bro. Well, we need to stay away from the slingers, honestly. I think we go attack the slingers. We're not going to be able to catch up to them. They've got one more spearman unit. Get them. They are shaken. Okay. Theodotus is kind of uh, taking a little rally there, so that's quite good. As long as they're not firing, honestly, the whole time, it's pretty good for us. So 
They're faster than my goddamn cavalry, bro. Now I want you... Uh, oh, we can't go through them. Let's go, 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 quick. Ah, oh, now the general's gone. <laughs> oh! It's gone from victory to defeat. Hey, those guys. Don't know what these guys are doing. Like, what are they doing? They're just stood there. All right. I mean, I think we break these. We'll break these archers, and I, I'm hoping the general will come back. Is he withdrawing or what? No. Surely the peltas are not running. God damn! This is ridiculous, bro. I'm trying to just cut them off. This is crazy. What a stupid battle, bro. Oh, they've gone back the other way. God damn slingers. We should get them now. Surely. Oh, my God. Make you more mobile. Let's go here. Do the walk right. Surely we get them. No. No. Are you kidding me? Brother. Are you kidding me, bro? Oh my god. This is so dumb. This is fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. Bro. What? What is the point of this? There's no way we win this. <laughs> Not now, anyway. I fucking hate you, Slingers! Fuck off! You stupid pricks! Oh my fucking god. What are they doing? Bro! Right, they should, like, be able to fight now. What? Are you fucking kidding me? How did you miss them? Oh my god! What idiots, brother. Right, war cry first. If we break them, that would be amazing. But I, I don't think we do, do we? Yeah, we're gone. Ah, we killed more than them. They just had more in the end. But the bodyguard did well. The Thorakitai did amazing. 172. Well done. Um, but we knew there was an army about. We just. I didn't expect it to come there, but we got rid of two of, like, we got rid of a pretty dangerous unit. I don't think we killed, the, and we killed their generals, so we'll just need to rebuild a little bit of an army around here somewhere. And we just don't really have much recruitment options against Cappadocia, but it's fine. Anyway, I'll see you on the uh, campaign map, guys. Here we are. Uh, we ran all the way back here, which is actually quite good. I don't know where their army went, but oh well. Um... We're going to have to build an army over here. And what we really need, which is a good thing. Okay, stern, publicly loyal. Yeah, of course, we'll take you. Uh, he's in uh, Meandros as well. Uh, heroic death. Zoilos. Oh, him over there. I don't know how... I pressed retreat, but he died somehow. I don't really know. Oh my god, there's some civil disorder, guys, this turn. Sorry, Abantes. We'll do... What should we do with you, then? I mean, Halicarnassus is probably a good place. Coastal town. Let's join these guys. Then we'll come straight through. Oh, god damn. How can you have... Do you know it's there, so why walk there? Oh my god. Brother. Oh. God damn it, bro. That is just so stupid. If he knows that, that that settlement is there, why would it path him through there where he's gonna stop? Oh. Bro. That is fucking ridiculous. God damn it, bro. This is the angry episode, guys. There's always an angry episode. <laughs> There's always an angry episode, and this is it today. <laughs> I mean, Temple of Osiris, happiness is fine. I'll, I'll take that. Um, but yeah, Civil Disorder there is fine. It's going to get sorted next turn. Isonion, on the other hand, will need some Hera. 
Galzana can just go to low. That's fine. We're making some money now. Baroya. Oh, Baroya is not great. How are you on so unhappy? Probably because of culture conversion, right? It's only 5% to Greek. Neighboring regions are all um, Assyrian culture around here. Um, I mean, that's an extra 10%. So we'll go with that for now. Uh, Baroya, that was that one. And Naza boss. Mm. Oh, God damn. All these places, bro. They're getting upset. They're all only on... They're only on 65 as well. Normally, they don't... Re they don't rebel on 70, definitely. But normally on 65, you can be pretty happy that they're not going to rebel. Uh, oh, Sagalossos is very upset. Why are you getting so upset, bro? We'll just get an extra guy in there. Lots of marries, marriages going on. We're the most advanced faction, apparently. War between Achaeans, Epirus, Arverni, Massalia, Pergamon, and Ptolemies again. Allies, Ptolemies, and Armenia. That's not a good sign, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, that's really, really not a good sign. Oh, we got the execution square over here. Um... Kind of want those army barracks. I mean, this is a really big recruitment hub, so let's go for that. Uh, and then we built roads everywhere, really, didn't we? So the rest of our money, let's build roads where we didn't build roads last time. And we can see the instant impact of that monetary situation of building roads has really increased our economy straight away. Um... So down here, Taurus, I think. Let's auto resolve that again. 144 we lost. So th basically, guys, if you're a bit upset by the auto resolves, it's literally just there to. So that we're not just doing siege battles one after the other. Um, it's for you guys. It's for you guys to try and make it. Uh, make the video more appealing and, and more fun to watch. So. This is going to rebel next turn, but it'll be okay once we get our general down here. So we're going uber aggressive now in terms of a movement of our troops and not waiting for public order and all that sort of thing. Good. Get a watchtower here. So we see Fasalis is just there. This one will probably... We'll fight. We'll, so what I'm going to try and do guys is, is siege wise i'll try and fight one every two i think that's fair and i think that works in terms of the video format itself hmm. are you happy there they are happy fantastic we need to keep on uh building them here though you need to keep moving back to antioch also, we didn't get to build roads here, did we? So most places have the roads now, which is fantastic. Uh, places down here as well. Awesome. You don't quite have a road yet. Okay. You do. Up here, we had all the roads. Can't believe that they had that such a large army at Nisa then. That was pretty uh, mahusive. Big army. Yeah, now we've got roads connecting all these places. That is fantastic to see. Very good, very good, very good. Less angry now. Calm down, just calm. Nice and calm. Right, guys, well... Shall we have a field battle? I think we shall. He's got some Nubian spearmen, Libyan skirmishers, Nubian cavalry, which is a horse archer unit. He's only got one infantry. I mean, we've got a lot more infantry, but cavalry-wise, we're a bit scarce. Uh, well, we've got the Prodromoy, but <laughs> they are Prodromoy. So, anyway, guys, I'll see you on the battle map. Here we are, guys. Oh! Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of trees. A lot of palm trees. I was not expecting this to be the map. 
this is going to be really difficult. Because, unfortunately, um, because of the textures, if you press spacebar, the, uh, the trees don't disappear in the mod yet. So, this is going to be kind of tough to see what's going on. I'm going to put you guys back here out of phalanx and hopefully you're you're hidden i don't see how you could not be hidden right now like you're literally in a clump of trees but we don't want to use you i'm gonna try and come over right where there's a bit more vision uh two guys get you there prodromoy let's get you over here with uh, Antiochus. There. No fucking clue where that... What? What a stupid place to start, bro. Buy a temple. At least there's a temple. You can pray your sins away. Uh, Prodromoy, let's get you there. Antiochus, let's get you here. Speed it up. Uh, they went for the hill. I should have. I should have known that they were going to go for the hill. At least it's not too dense foliage. Like we can actually kind of see what's going on. If it's the German forest, you literally cannot see a thing. <laughs> uh, we'll probably give these guys once they've got here a little bit of a rest because we don't want them to fight uh, winded. So, just have a bit of a rest while the. Uh, Slingers are firing away. Are you guys on fire at will? You are. Fantastic. I'm happy for the Greek Peltas to tank the uh, Horse Archer fire. So just get back down to warmed up. Once they're warmed up, we'll be good. Come on. Thropoi, slightly worse stamina it seems than the uh, Hoplites. Good. Now we can move. Quite a nice uh, little mappy. You there, and then we'll bring the Prodromoy around this way. Oh, they're right in the corner. They're fucking hugboxing, bro. <laughs> so they've got Peltas coming forward. They literally have no infantry. They've got these two units, and that's it. The rest is like skirmishes and that, which... Poor guys. We're going to take some damage today. Really cannot see much what's going on. Yeah, kill those guys. Let's come forward. Uh, well, Hoplite is like, you guys just should come forward. Doesn't really matter what you're doing. What else is there? Obviously, their general's bodyguard. Let's go. You guys go up to them. You guys there. You guys here. You guys after these guys. Uh, I don't know who you're firing at. We're going to bring our general over here. Peltas, we're going to bring you over this way. Okay, yes, we managed to uh, get into the slingers. Good. Now you guys charge these guys in the back. Fully close that sandwich. And then the Prodromoy, you're going to actually be quite useful. I can't see! <laughs> oh, they've got their general's bodyguard in now. That's fine. Fire at those guys. Uh, you guys come through this way, and then we're going to trap that general's bodyguard in there. That poor Theropro is going to take some damage, but for now it's okay. Now my general, you're not my general, you're a Prodromoy. Let's get up there. General over here. Oh wait, who's that routing? Greek Peltas. Why are we... Oh, god damn. Bro! Cannot see a thing here. This is the right on the edge of the map as well. So they're going to just run away, like, straight out. 
Yeah, the enemy general's routing. Get him. Kill him. Come on. They're all routing. They're withdrawing. Okay, well, at least we killed the general. I think the rest of their army is going to survive. Come on, boys. Let's get in there. Uh, Prodromoy. Oh, we can't chase them down, can we not? I think they've already got out. So all that's left are these boys over here. Are they fighting to the death? Yeah. Let's kill them all then. Let them fight to the death. Because we will kill them. Good, 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 good. Okay, well, I don't think we've done enough. Yeah, we didn't kill enough to fully destroy the army, but... We did a decent enough damage. Greek Hoplite is doing some pretty decent d decent damage there. Fantastic. Yeah, good. A happy battle. Way. Yes, fantastic. Anyway, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. All right, here we are, guys. And we have pushed them backwards. So, looking at this border, clearly rebel. So, the territory is around here somewhere. And we're on... Oh, here. There it is. Jerusalem, yes. Jerusalem. Seems like a good option to take. That's where their, their troops went. It's only a large town currently. Uh, but this could be a good recruitment hub. Let us take Jerusalem then. Tychus is now a su superior commander. He's got six and ten influence. He's pretty beastly for such an, a young, uh, young general. How old are you? 25 is pretty good for a 25 year old pretty decent got to say um now we're making 19,000 it, it it is gonna be time soon to go through all our settlements and put them all back down to low but not quite yet soon soon um anyway guys i think we end the turn i'm sorry for my saltiness if you've not seen if you're new to the channel if you've not seen the saltiness before it comes out. It comes out every now and then. Um, oh, yeah. The one thing we were going to do is... Well, I, I think we get rid of you. There's only six of you and you're a mercenary, so you're just too expensive. Theodotas. Antiochus. Sara. You have a militia barracks. You don't have any barracks. You have a militia barracks, and that's it. Up here. Okay, they've got a city barracks up here, so this is the best place for recruitment. So what I'm going to do is next turn we're going to build this Seleucid recruitment. And in this place, we're going to recruit an army, unless these places have something better. I mean, it's four turns for a city barracks here, but I think we'll only be able to get the Hoplites. But we probably will build that as well. So next turn, out of our 20,000 that we're going to make, we'll use 10,000 of it to build uh, two recruitment hubs down here. Because even if we do take out Cappadocia, we'll have Pontus to worry about. We'll have all these regions. Galatia, of course, as well. The barbarians. The damn barbarians at our gates. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. And we'll try and recruit an army here. Now... The best army that we can really have will be a few units of infantry, but predominantly slingers. I'm going to go for a slinger-based army, honestly. Um, so, we'll go for a slinger-based army. And, uh, yeah. That'll be fantastic. Anyway, I'll uh, end the turn. So, like, say five units of hoplites and five slingers would be a good army against Cappadocia. Because they've got a lot of missile troops. And their infantry is not very strong. So, having the missile troops there will be really fantastic. Oh, look at that. That's the Achaean League, right? I think. I oh, know. Yes. I think. But they've got a full stack there. I've forgotten what they called. The uh, Aetolian League, sorry. Candidate for adoption. He is 30. He is a drill master, which gives law, and he's brave. Uh, but yeah, we'll find out where he is. Meandros again. <laughs> I mean, we've got a lot of new cities down here, so 
It is good to get these guys governing these places. Uh, now you can move. If you move into another spot where we can't come in there, I'm, I'm going to be absolutely fuming. I'm not going to lie. Okay, we need more than one. So I'm going to put you in Patera, whatever it's called. Oh, wait, you actually made it more in a happy, so let's maybe not do that. Okay, you've made both of those places happy now. Good. So, Patara, yeah, we've sorted that one. Telemesos, we've sorted that one. Apamea, Regien. Well, that's an easy solve. Baroya, that's not an easy solve, but it should be next turn. Lydokia, Libanos. Go for Temple of Hera. And Nazabos. Oh, god damn, bro. One more turn. You should hopefully be happy. Uh, Adramitian. Uh, let's go for low tax rate there. Arbella. Let's go for low. And Edessa. You need to repair that. But for now, we'll leave you on low. Uh, or take, make your uh, thing go down. Oh, Saluki has upgraded to a large city. Those are words I would love to hear. And... Let's see what this spice road does for our cash. Another thousand from that. Oh, that is fantastic. Let's, uh, another thousand from paved roads as well. What's this? Oh, God, we've got, we need to just constantly be building in Seleucia. Um, also, over here, we said, first things first, let's build that. Then over here, let's build the, which one? Do you have a practice range as well? Now, you've got a city barracks. So here, let's build the practice range. Should allow us to get the... I believe the slingers. I mean, I hope so. Uh, the rest of the money... We'll uh, so sort it out soon. I think, honestly, once we've taken Jerusalem... Uh, I think we'll take Jerusalem and IOP. Then I think we need to have a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a sort out. Uh, let's build a recruitment hub down here then as well. You've actually got a stables and a, a barracks. What about here? Ah, oh, we need to destroy that. Keep forgetting to destroy these things. Gives us extra money as well, so there's no point not. Uh, you've got a blacksmith. You're a blacksmith area. Um, what was the temple here? Osiris, I'm happy with that. Well, we can build a... Uh, Blacksmith in Samaria as well. I think that's you're going to become a bit of a recruitment hub. I think we need to make you into a recruitment hub. And we'll get the city barracks. Also get the practice range. Just annoying that none of these places are cities. Because we can't re re retrain all our men here. Let's hope we've got enough money to retrain these boys. Just about. I would have liked enough money to, uh, to build another unit, but for now, is there anywhere we can just recruit a simple Peltast, like an Acontistai or something? We can. They cost 500, though. Got another one here. Let's keep you coming down. Um, but oh well. Right, you should keep moving. Come and join this army. We've actually got a garrison in here. Um, but we will do that as a battle. Uh, we'll do... And then we'll probably... Uh, we'll probably have to do this one as a battle as well. Because they've got a load of troops. And Jerusalem has stone walls, of course. It is Jerusalem. So does Iope. Iope. Um, but yeah. Uh, can we, like, reduce building something over here? Where are we building? Da, da, da. Building there. Yeah, we're building the recruitment. I think... Ah, oh, we've got to build that. Building that. Anywhere else around here building that we can get rid of? Nars of us. No, we can't get rid of that. Kind of just want to scrape some money together to recruit one more unit in Antioch. Um, anywhere down here. Uh, 
It doesn't really look like it. Um, I mean, I could not do the one in Seleucia for a turn. Uruk, that's, yeah, that's going to be money. Mm. More over here. Iconian, let's leave that for now. That should be enough money to build one more guy. I think we'll go for the Zistaphoroi. What cavalry? Oh, he's got the Hippodrome here. Okay, the city barracks allows us to get the Theroporoi and the Greek Hoplites. So, that's going to be plenty enough down here. And it's going to be plenty enough up here. So, we've got our kind of two recruitment hubs ready to go. Hmm. Well, then, guys, I think uh, we're doing quite well. Let's uh, have a look at our ranking again. So, we'll go to the top five and then we'll add in a couple of extras. Uh, Parthia would be nice. Cappadocia. Uh, where's Cappadocia? There they are. Add you in Cappadocia as well. So, whoever the red is, which I'm assuming is Rome. Yeah, we're doing really well. We're doing a little bit better than Carthage and we're, we're making uh, Egypt fall down. Oh god, look at that military ranking. We've pretty much stayed neutral. Rome is just going for it. Rome is doing really well. That makes me want to do the Toggle Fog of War. So remember guys, um, to comment down below what you think we should do with the Toggle Fog of War. But I think what we'll do is we will do it. I'll just try not to look at our neighbouring lands, etc. to our enemies. Anyone that's an enemy, we'll try not to look at. Now, obviously we'll see a couple of things, but We'll try and avoid it as much as possible. Production-wise, we have become the best, which is fantastic. Territorially, we're just going up. Probably close to 100 now, aren't we? Financially, we're not great. Uh, Population-wise, we're pretty much off the scales. We've got about 400,000 population right now, which is pretty good to start with. Yeah, we've got 104 regions now, guys, so... Our empire is pretty large, and there's about 900, so we have about a ninth of the map. But the overall plan is is to restore Alexander's empire. So in order to do that, we of course have to take the rest of Anatolia and Greece, uh, which <laughs> and Egypt. Um, so <laughs> yeah, good luck to us. Good luck to us doing all that, but uh, we shall see. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. I hope you liked, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe down below. That would be fantastic. And I will see you again on the next video.